Oh, Lord. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just in a silly, goofy mood. Yeah, I keep my friends on my mind. Should repent. I need me some Jesus in my life. Amen. I literally debunked this TikTok in one Google search. We all have an Eve gene. Every single human on this planet has a singular gene that shows that every human alive today came from a single pair of two human beings. That means a single couple is the great, great, great grandparent of every human alive. Every human has this gene, meaning all of us are cousins. Also, the Garden of Eden was in Africa, Ethiopia. All human life started in Africa. Bro, the Bible agrees with science on so much shit and the Adam and Eve story also agrees with what we've discovered in science and biology bro it was literally only one Google search to shows that Adam and Eve story agrees with science all right so personal question here have you ever been in love with someone to be totally open here I I I think that I have been I'm fairly certain yeah I I I, I have been okay and Maybe this was just me, but you know, while it was all happening, no, nobody could get me to shut up about it, about, about her. Like, I constantly just wanted to tell everybody how amazing she was and how fascinated I was with her and how happy she made me and how great we worked together and this future I had planned in my mind. I just wanted to tell everybody about it. In simplest terms, I was extremely proud to be in love with her. And okay, the point of this video is not to like show off or talk about my goals Christian relationship and how great it was. No, that that is so cringe. I, I, I'm trying to say that that's how we should be with God. And it was just like a fitting analogy that worked here. What I'm really getting at is that we should be so in love with God that we cannot help to go and tell everyone how great he is and how lucky we are to belong to him. Not in a pushy, pretentious, like, in your face kind of way that's that's not what i mean at all but we should just be so caught up in love for god that we want everybody else to know how great he is and how awesome having a relationship with him is in fact our our love for god should far exceed any kind of romantic love that we could hope or imagine like he is so much more than that and so that begs the question why are we so silent with the gospel sometimes perhaps it may be because of a lack of love and that doesn't mean you go searching within yourself trying to be strong enough to love God more. That, that makes no sense. You, what we need is God to teach us to fall back in love with him. So much so that we cannot be quiet about him. I just had a random thought in the car and so I thought I would share on my way to tennis. So people used to tell me, find your identity in Christ and I did not understand what they mean. I was like, okay, so if I find my identity in Christ, I will understand what my actual fashion style is. I'll know what my personality is like, all of these things, right? But what I was missing is that when you actually find your identity in Christ, you don't care about those things anymore. I thought he that meant that he would show me my identity in worldly things, but no, you find your identity in Christ alone. That is my personality treat now is talking about Jesus that's the only thing I care to talk about when I put together outfits I'm not thinking about how to look pretty because I don't care anymore the only reason I cared about if people liked my fashion or if they liked my personality on the internet was because of validation finding my identity in Christ I don't care about people's validation I care about Jesus's validation of me and I have that so that's what it means he's not gonna give you those things and worldly things he's gonna give you your identity in him alone to stop putting ourselves down we have to stop what good does it do to look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're not beautiful what good does it do to look at your outfits or your clothes or your hair or whatever it may be and put yourself down a sweet friend of mine that i met about a week and a half ago told me who told you that being the way that you are was wrong
Who told you that being bigger was wrong? Who told you that the way that your hair looks is wrong? Who told you that the way that you look is wrong? Because it wasn't God. And if God created all of this and calls it beautiful and says that we are beautiful, why are we listening to him when we know that he knows all? Instead, we take in every lie that the enemy tells us, planting it in our minds, and we let it just sit there. You are not ugly. You are beautiful. You are what he says you are. There was something someone said about seven years ago, I think, on a mission trip that has always stuck with me. So this is God and this is him. And sometimes he feels like he runs so far away from God. And once he realizes this, he's like, man, I have so much running back to God I need to do. Until one day he realizes he doesn't need to run a whole marathon to get back to God. He simply just has to turn around because God was right there the whole time. It just really encourages me to know that when I feel like I've been so far from God, it really just takes a little turn over the shoulder because he was there the entire time. So if you're watching these TikToks and you're like, I haven't opened my Bible in months, I haven't really been praying or talking to God, I haven't thought about him, just say a little hello to him. That's all it takes, that one little step, and he's gonna rejoice in heaven when you talk to him again. Christians struggle with having a honeymoon phase with God, and let me explain. I definitely had one. Y'all rem y'all remember mine. I was very much always posting about him, the Lord, and I'd be always preaching all the time, but mm, let me explain. Basically, just like a relationship in real life with your significant other, there's a honeymoon phase, and what do we talk about all the time on Christian TikTok? How... Christianity is having a relationship with God, right? So there was. That was your honeymoon phase. Just like a real relationship, it requires persistence. And it's not just always about motivation, it's about dedication. Am I reading the Bible even though I don't want to, even though I don't feel like it? And this is not just a message to you guys, it's a message to me because I need to listen to my own advice! Frick! Anyways, yeah, that's it.